So in the book, I used the juxtaposition of first person and third person formats, um, kind of in a purposeful way to represent both the data and the level of methodological process that's rarely reflected in the scientific treatment of metacognition in the literature. I attempted to represent, stimulate, and integrate these different modes of thinking throughout the book. I felt that this would make for a clearly metacognitive methodology because metacognition integrates perspectives through this kind of an interaction. The three perspectives that are represented through the writing format of the book are first, an intrapersonal subjective perspective, which is represented in this piece narratively in first person narrative. The second is still intrapersonal, but it's more abstract. It's the objective and abstract perspective written in third person modes of academic writing, and it's represented as a deep review of the literature and analysis. The third perspective is represented through interactions with another person, and it is more about that movement between the first and third person perspectives that happens during a conversation. This Interpersonal understanding is represented through the interviews of eight professors from the Program for Advancement of Learning at Curry College. In my research, I found conversational modes of learning were significantly related to metacognitive learning. Aspects of perspective shifting from first person to third person allow qualitative experience to be cognitively integrated with abstract goals and desires. The subjective first person perspective is able to capture subtle details, particularly motivational and emotional details that are not easily represented objectively. And inversely, the objective third person perspective is able to link ideas and express connections more clearly and concisely, but only at the expense of many of the specific and possibly obscuring details of the subjective mode. The subjective perspective can also obscure objective connections also, precisely because of its ability to convey emotional and motivational data. So the approach I took in the book was to present a balance of these perspectives, because I believe in the end, it'll promote a deeper understanding of the main points in the book.